Oh, hello and good morning. Welcome to Movie Vlog. This video is going to be a little unlike any of my other movie vlogs. I was not particularly hyped for today, but we're getting there. My mom is actually in the hospital right now. My whole family's in Reading. They're not here helping me move. But I do feel very thankful and blessed. I have church family that's just been surrounding me and helping me with moving or figuring things out. Today, two of my friends, Rosalie and Alyssa, are going to help me with moving, and then Mike, who is the husband of the couple, I've been living in their downstairs of for the past two weeks during some theater camps I was doing, is also going to help. So I'm just very thankful for the help I'm going to receive, and I kind of feel like I'll regret it if I don't vlog. So here is a moving vlog when you're not feeling it, or life is rough, or you're leaning on others. I don't know what the title will be, but it's my senior year. Hello. I'm asleep. Welcome to the chaos. It's been a stressful morning. We are trying to move things out. <laughs> okay, hi mom, this video is for you. This is the front door, and if you were to little people if you were to enter the front door this is the living room you'd see these big L of windows all my stuff currently is still here um, but yeah this wall this brick with a little fireplace and then to your right when you walk in is a coat closet and a blank wall and then there's this weird kind of little hallway and there's this closet which will probably be like cleaning supplies and whatnot odds and ends down this hall, or you can turn this way, we have the dining hall with sliding glass doors to the backyard and a window table. And then here's the kitchen and there's this cool um, little fireplace and shelf and seating area. And then this is the kitchen. Look at how pretty the cabinets are, the lights. Rosalie and I already started figuring out where things could go. And then in here is theoretically the laundry room. But the washer and dryer are indeed gone. So I'm really hoping they're bringing them back. I'm just fixing them. And then there's this closet in here. So you might use this for like recycling and laundry stuff. And then this side is probably going to be used as a pantry because there's not enough cabinets for pantry. So there's like these shelves and we might try and get rolling shelves in there. And then we're back to either the living room or we have, sorry I'm turning slowly, we have this hallway, there's me. Then here's the little bathroom, it's tiny. Oh, there's a light in here. It's tiny, there's a little tiny sink and toilet, they're very close together, a little mirror, and like a bathtub shower situation, and this really weird fan, um, and this pretty light, which is fun. And then to our right is the bedrooms, not mine. This is gonna be, I think, Ainsley and Claire's room. There's bunk beds. There's a lot of furniture missing, but I emailed housing, and they'll take care of it. And this is Rosalie and I's room. Again, we're missing a desk and a um, bookshelf, but we have our dressers and our beds. We're gonna have to be in bunk beds, which is fun. We have this really weird but cool closet situation. And then there's just a screw on the floor, which is kind of random. And what looks like a trap door, but uh, Alyssa couldn't pull it up, so that made me feel better. Attached to our bedroom is a bathroom, which is honestly a little bigger than the other one in terms of layout, but there's this mirror, little sink, toilet, little cabinet. And then this shower, which is lovely. Anyways, that is the house. And then there's a backyard with kind of a rotting apple tree, but it's super pretty. And when the grass finally comes in, that will be so nice. So it's nice and spacious. There's a lot of organization. This is a closet here in the hall. So it has all these shelves on both sides. Bathroom supplies, linens, vitamins, stuff. That's kind of a video tour of the house. Lighting is beautiful in here and that makes me really happy. I'm a little freaked out for at night, but I'm sure we'll be okay. And I'm really thankful for friends who helped me move in. Kind of a little bit of the house before we move in. I have to get ready for an event and then this week I'll work on keep moving in. I gotta make my bed too. <laughs> It is 
the first day of Epiphany training and today is our first day of our like in-person retreat. We're here a week early. I moved into my on campus house. Here it is in all its glory. I'm going to show you. It moves super fast. Eats. We have tons of stuff here but lovely natural lighting. All of the dishes jazz here. That's me in my outfit of the day. And all the clothes mess. And my kind of messy made bed because I'm missing some bedding. And the Ikea gone wrong uh, closet. You can't tell from here, but it's uh, kind of a mess. My stuff is still in boxes, so well, most of it. And so I don't have like pans and things to cook with yet. I just fished up this mason jar and washed it to put orange juice in. But I have the air fryer and I realized I could just throw a sausage in there. So that's what we're doing for breakfast. And I will clean more dishes during my lunch break so I can actually cook lunch today. Not, I was making a movie vlog, so you know. Here's the TV, and then behind it is a lot of things. And I'm just gonna start with this in the front seat. There's really like, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I should really work up. The vegan Rosalie stuff! <laughs> what do we think? Hey! Hello, and welcome to the end of the vlog. Oh, I love just Let's get comfy. My Bible stuff. Um, yeah, that was kind of the moving vlog about a month later, and we are officially moved in. We were officially moved in like a few days after the last footage you saw, but I definitely feel like this space feels lived in now. It took me a week or two after my roommates moved in, so I moved in a week early, then my roommates moved in, and then we kept moving in my stuff because I had a bunch of stuff in storage, which is what those last clips were from. And now we're here in the house with my roommates. Everything's decorated, boxes are in the garage. We live here now, we cook in the kitchen, we have dishes, we make coffee and tea in our cute little coffee stand, and cozy up in blankets and watch TV and talk and do homework and read and all the things, and it is delightful. But moving was definitely a process, and I will add that like, oh, definitely took a solid week or two to adjust to here. Like the first week, I just felt so off because it didn't feel like it's my own space. There were like things my roommate decorated that I didn't because I was super busy and that was such a gift. And I was like, this isn't like my home yet. And I realized it just takes time living in a space for it to feel like home. It can be decorated and still not feel home yet until you really start using it and finding your rhythms and finding your routines in that space. Because a home is meant to be lived in. The past couple weeks, and I think even moving forward, is an exploration of making this house a home. And I think that's really come from the people here and doing life with them. And just doing small routine things like making a meal, making tea and coffee, watching TV in our living room, sitting out on the back porch, chatting with my roommate in our bedroom, and like sleeping in my bed every night. These are the things that like start to really make this space our home. And so I want to encourage you if you're moving in somewhere and you're frustrated because you've made it the cutest place possible and it's still not home yet, just give it time and find ways to really live in your home, create routines within it, relationships and memories in it start to feel like home. This is my last year at George Fox, my home for the past four years, and while there's a lot of hard life stuff going on, like I mentioned at the beginning, I'm also really blessed with community and with people I love, and with the church in this area, and with um, theater, and I have play rehearsals every night for a play that I'm in, that I'm loving. I'm just blessed with um, a lot of good gifts from God, while also having some things that are really hard, and God is still good, and He's with us in that. So I am excited to see where the semester leads. This move-in vlog was so, this move-in in general was so chaotic. Trying to adult pay your own loans and paying for tuition and moving in, relying on friends and getting help. And that is just, I guess, what senior year move-in was. And that's okay. I think it's definitely part of growing up and leaning on God and leaning on others and not just maybe traditional ways that I've been able to move in. I hope you enjoyed the video and all its chaos and that if anything, um, you know, move-in is not always romanticized, and sometimes it's just hard, and that's okay, but it can also be fun. Anyways, love you all. Mwah. Bye.